Welcome back on this edition of the Thunder Report. I'm joined with Thunder forward Billy XL, who is returning to Wichita this coming season. Billy, how's it going, man? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Trying to stay busy as we navigate through this pandemic. How have you been able to uh, occupy your time throughout everything that's been going on? Um, well, you know, the last couple of months I've just been uh, laying low, um, you know, spending a lot of time at the lake here in my cottage and uh, with a couple of friends. So I'm um, just trying to stay busy that way, you know, doing some fishing and just being outdoors. Is that where you're at right now then? Yeah, I'm actually sitting on my deck right now uh, at the cottage. Really? Good. You got a pretty good view of the lake there. You want to show everybody where you're, where you're at? Yeah, for sure. I can show you guys. I'm just uh, kind of sitting here on the porch. And uh, you can see the water. It's a little uh, little cloudy today, but uh, definitely still warm out. So just uh, thought I'd be outside. What's the biggest fish you've caught so far this summer? Oh, biggest fish? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really been measuring them. Just uh, some bass. We've been catching a lot of bass out here, smallmouth bass. And uh, there's been a couple, couple heavy ones. So maybe we'll go out uh, later and try to catch a few more. And where is your cottage again? I'm sorry, I don't know if you, you had mentioned that. So it's just outside of uh, Thunder Bay. It's only about 20 minutes um, towards the uh, the U.S. border. Um, so it's it's pretty close for me um, from where my where I live in town. Well, we're glad to have you coming back here to Wichita. What what's uh, it like for you to know that you've got a place to come back to and get ready for the upcoming season? Um, yeah, obviously I'm excited to be coming back to Wichita, um, you know, especially with some of the guys that I've seen sign already, uh, you know, uh, like Doro and, uh, and Trinella there. So, um, yeah, it's good to, to kind of get that out of the way. Um, you know, even though didn't, we don't know exactly what, uh, when the season's going to start and when everything's going to be back into place, but, uh, you know, just to, to, uh, you know, know I'm coming back is, is pretty exciting for me. Can you talk a little bit about your rookie season? What was that like for you uh, this past year with Coach Ramsey? Um, yeah, so the first season I thought, um, you know, at the beginning of the season, I started off a little slow, maybe took a little time to adapt. And then, um, you know, near the end of the year when I got a little more comfortable, gained some confidence, I thought I started playing really well, um, you know, in, until the season ended there. And then um, obviously, yeah, playing for Rammer, he's a great coach. Um, I thought I learned a lot from him. And uh, he's one of the reasons why I wanted to come back and uh, play for him again. Uh, he really utilized you on the penalty kill. Did you kind of make it uh, a point to be really good on special teams in that way? Um, yeah, I've uh, I penalty killed with with uh, you know when I was in college and what. Um, so I thought that was something I can bring and help the team. And it's definitely uh, a way you know as a as a young guy to earn extra ice time. Um, you know, rather than sitting on the bench and and watching someone else kill. So it's a good opportunity to get out there. And, uh, you know, I felt like, um, you know, with, with my speed and, and some of my talents that um, I can really help the team. Billy Excel joining us. Billy's coming back for the upcoming season uh, with not a lot of opportunities to get on the ice, at least here in Wichita, the ice center has been closed. So what have you been able to do this summer to get ready? Yeah, the, uh, the rinks here haven't been open yet as well. So, um, I haven't been on the ice yet, but just been trying to stay in shape, um, you know, working out. Um, we have a, a gym here out of the lake in a, in a garage. So been doing that and, uh, you know, a lot of swimming, staying active, running and whatnot. Um, and then hockey wise, it's been, you know, it's, it's a little different cause you can't get on the ice to work on some of your skills. So, um, what we have is like, a just kind of a net and, and, old chicken coop I think it is that we shoot pucks at so um, that's pretty much what the training's been so far this summer. Have you had an opportunity to visit with any of the guys from last season? Have you kept in touch with anybody? Um, yeah I, I keep in touch um, with a few of the guys for sure. I definitely uh, talk to uh, Garrett Schmitz a lot and, uh, and Doro and Peter so um, you know what they're up to and whatnot and how things are going know uh, in their hometowns and, and what they've been up to last question for you and then we'll let you go in regards to this past year what do you hope to improve on as we get ready for this next season hmm um so going into next year um 
I think I'd like to be consistent, more consistent player, um, you know, all the way through. I think I can be uh, a guy who can contribute offensively. So I'd like to, you know, maybe get some some more points or goals up a bit and uh, also kind of round off my, my 200 foot game. Um, you know, last year I finished the year playing center. So I think uh, if I can, you know, be a little stronger that way and, uh, and be good defensively as well, then I think, um, you know, the team could be really successful. Sounds good. Thanks so much for your time. Next time you get a fish on the line, take a video of it and send it to me. We'll put it on uh, on Twitter, all right? Yeah, sounds good. We'll do it for sure. Might, sounds might even good. Be later tonight. What's that? Might even be later tonight. Are you going to eat it or are you going to throw it back in? Uh, no, we usually just throw them back here. Don't take too many fish out of the lake, yeah. All right. Thanks, Billy. Good luck, and we'll talk to you soon, all right? Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for having me. That's the uh, Thunder Report for this week. We'll talk to you next week, folks.